Dear colleagues, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is an intumescent cataract with hard nucleus. Let us observe the surgical steps. This is the main incision at a selected site. This is a 2.8 millimeter incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And this is another side port on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away. Now I'm going to stain the anterior capsule underneath this air bubble. And here goes the 0.06% tripan blue dye. The dye is sprayed uniformly all over the anterior capsule. Now here this is a little bit of adrenaline to see if the people dilates little more and now the dye is washed out. The main challenge in intumescent cataracts is doing the rexis. The other steps are not so difficult. And now viscoelastic substance is injected again. This is SPMC. And now I am going to do the rexis. See how I do it. Introduce this 26 case needle and incise the capsule right at the anterior pole. And now I hold this tag and do a very small rexis at this time. Don't try to do an optimum sized rexis at this stage. I don't attempt it at all. And now, I want to decrease the intralenticular pressure drastically. See how it is done. If you don't have this very simple instrument, a 23 gauze Simco cannula in your trolley, use your bimanual irrigation aspiration. And remove some cortical matter. As you remove this cortical matter, the intralenticular pressure decreases drastically and the cataract behaves completely differently. That's it. And now I had some biscuit and I see this the nucleus is very hard so um, using modified soft shell technique. This is viscoat, a combination of chondroitin sulfate and sodium hyaluronate. And beneath this viscoat, I'm using this SPMC. So the viscoat, the chondroitin sulfate has gone upward and it has stuck to the corneal endothelium. And this will give better protection of the corneal endothelium. Now I made a nick and at this time I'm using the iterative forceps and doing a large rexis because I saw that the nucleus is brown and hard. So intumescent cataracts can have any kind of nucleus. It can have a very soft nucleus. It can have a nucleus of moderate hardness and it can it can have this kind of hard nucleus and now is the time to manage this nucleus the machine being used is Oatly Cataracts 3 and I am in FECO 2 mode from the very beginning and I'm going with very high vacuum 450 vacuum and 40 ml per minute flow rate and the power, ultrasonic power being used is about 80%. And here is my sub job. I go through the substance of the nucleus for some distance almost near the opposite equator. I support the nucleus with the chopper and then I chop it like this. And this is a very good crack. Rotate the nucleus 180 degree and try to separate the nucleus into two halves. 
there's there is a fiber there is a leathery band but it will not cause much problem and now I'm trying to chop this hemi nucleus and here I could do this and now this free nuclear fragment is being emulsified and removed now I'm trying to chop this bigger hemineucleus and here it is you can see that the nuclear fragments the small pieces is not moving around in the anterior chamber it is just around the phaco tip all the time and I am right at the center and at the iris plane or you can see at the plane of the anterior capsule and here it is you can see the people is getting small but still it is quite adequate to complete the case that's it the nucleus is managed there is no epinucleus in this case and now there is some cortical matter that has to be removed and this is a beautiful red glow and now I am removing the cortical matter with the help of this 23 gauze Simco cannula and I use a 10 cc glass syringe for creating vacuum this 10 cc glass syringe is beautiful and that's it cortical cleanup is done and now A foldable intraocular lens is to be placed in the capsular bag. The anterior chamber and the capsular bag is being filled up with viscoelastic substance because the people are tending to become smaller and I want to see that the lens goes into the capsular bag so I didn't attempt hydro implantation in this case. Hydro implantation means implantation of the intraocular lens keeping the anterior chamber formed by hydro that is irrigating fluid. And here it is. This is Hoya preloaded system. The cartridge goes into the anterior chamber through 2.8 millimeter incision and this lens can be implanted easily through a 2.2 millimeter incision by wound assisted delivery and the lens has gone nicely in the capsula bag the rexis has been covered by the people by this time I'm cleaning the viscoelastic substance thoroughly irrigating the capsula bag and the anterior chamber and the anterior chamber angle and now I'm using irrigation and aspiration together dear colleagues we must thoroughly clean the viscoelastic substance otherwise there can be rise of intraocular pressure in the post operative period and the patient will not feel comfortable now the stroma is hydrated at the stab wounds and this closes the stab wounds and they become watertight and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber That's it. The case is done. Just you have to form the anterior chamber and conclude the case.
and see the main wound there is no wound burn this is the beauty of utli thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and do great service to the mankind